outside and one for the unintelligent as fellas get Listen, let's settle this, be clear I could fall back seven years Still it ain't no one ahead of me Consider it a blessing if you get to stand next to me Five star general, OG veteran What's up everybody, welcome to BioWS3 Raw TV. Well, today I'm going to talk about something that happened probably about a year, man, well, it was about a year ago, man, a little more than a year ago, it was probably in March of 2015, and that is my experience with Transformix Peptides. Now, Transformix Peptides had approached me after they had hired or signed on or whatever, Boston Lloyd, about their products. They had approached me through email and they were looking for basically like YouTubers and people with social media to be able to push their products. So the first thing I did, I said, let me try out some of the products. I bought some of the products. I tried them out. And I thought, you know, the Melanotan, if I was going to use Melanotan, let's say if I was using it for research, I thought, shit, while well, this stuff works really good. Yeah, your company's legit. <clears throat> let's see what we can do. From that point on, we had agreed to, I think it was like $200 a month worth of peptides for free as well as a certain percentage of when people used my code to, um, to purchase peptides. Now, there was a month to month, it was a contract signed. They actually sent me a thing digitally. I signed it digitally and sent it back to them month to month. And everything was good. I was getting my shipments in, I was getting a check. I believe like the biggest check I got honestly was like 700 bucks from them per month. And everything was going fine. And then what happened was it, was, it was weird because they were kind of cool at first. I don't know if there's two guys or whatever that I was talking to back and forth, but I contacted Boston before I even signed this contract and said, hey, you're involved with them. What do you think? And he kind of laughed and he said, I'm actually part owner of the company. And I was like, well, fuck, if Boston's part owner and I definitely trust Boston, he's saying that they're legit. I've used the products. This seems like a good thing for all of us all the way around. So I signed the contract. Now here's where the shit gets shady. Okay. And the reason why I'm talking about this now and not before the products are great. The, pro the, the peptides are great. The fucking liquids are great. Everything they have is fucking great. It's great quality. But it's the people behind it that I have the issue with. Okay? And I have all the fucking emails. If these motherfuckers want to do anything about this, I have all the fucking emails to prove all this shit, as well as Boston to back up my fucking word. So, uh, we'll keep moving on. They decided they were going to ask me to do YouTube videos about their peptides how to use them, what dosages, how to mix them, etc., etc. And I said, flat out, it's like, you know that your peptides are for research and it's illegal to actually use these things, right? And they're like, oh, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. And I'm like, yeah, it does matter, okay? Because I don't want my shit being fucking flagged or whatever the case may be for illegal activity. I went down to fucking Mexico and filmed a video about steroids in Mexico. And... While I was in Mexico, I was doing nothing illegal. I posted that fucking video up. Not only did I get a strike on it, but YouTube told me they shut my channel down for two weeks, blocked me out of it, and told me if I put something like this up again, I would have my channel deleted. And I did nothing illegal down there whatsoever. But now you actually want me to do illegal fucking activities and promote illegal activities on the fucking channel, which basically is going to get my, could possibly get my shit taken away. At the very least, I'm uncomfortable with it. Okay. And they kept pushing me saying, well, Boston does it and this person does it. And they kept pushing me for a couple of days. And at that point I said, you know what? I said, I don't like feeling like I'm being forced into doing something I don't want to do. That was never part of the contract. You fucking telling me what to do with my YouTube channel was never part of the contract. It was never even fucking part of the contract for me to ever talk about your shit on fucking YouTube. But, you know, I'm uncomfortable with this. I think we should part ways. And they said, yeah, absolutely. We need to part ways. Cool. I finish up that month, no check in the mail. I contacted them and said, hey guys, you know, I didn't get my, uh, my final check. I worked for it. The people used my code. I promoted your fucking products. Where's my check? Nothing. No fucking text messages, no emails, no phone calls, no nothing. Nothing. So about a month goes by and I ask, I just go right to Boston now. I'm like, I, you know, because I'm not having an issue with him and I'm an issue with these fucking two guys. I tell him, this is the situation. They haven't paid me in fucking Boston. says, let me check into it. He looks into it. He contacts me back. And here's the most fucked up story. This is how these guys do business. Okay? This is how these people are. He said, well, your ex-girlfriend ordered a whole shitload of peptides, like $1,000 worth of peptides. 
got them and did a charge back on her card. So basically they're not going to pay you because they think you actually set it up with her to get those peptides and now you have $1,000 worth of free peptides. So they're not going to pay you what they owe you because they don't really owe you anything because you got that $1,000 worth of peptides. And at the time I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Carrie and I had just broken up. She moved away. I'm like, who the fuck is this person that bought these peptides? So Boston goes back, gets this girl's name, tells me the name. I'm like, I don't know who the fuck that girl is. My ex-girlfriend's name is Carrie. He was like, what the fuck? I said, yeah, I don't even know where, wherever in Maryland that girl lives. I've never even fucking heard of that. That could be an hour and a half away from where I live. I don't know who the fuck that is. That has nothing to do with me. So he's like, what the fuck? Let me... But the bottom line is, no matter what someone else did, whether it was that girl or Carrie or someone else, I had nothing to do with it. That's not business. Business is you pay somebody for what they work for. And then if they did a charge back, then you have to go through the process of getting the money back through PayPal or fucking credit card or whatever the pro problem is. You don't automatically you fucking assume, make shit up in your head and fucking go, we're going to do this. They just didn't want to fucking pay me. They were looking for a way out of paying me and decided they were going to, I don't even know whether or not that girl actually ordered shit. The whole fucking thing could have been made up, but Boston called them on it. Had it not been for Boston, I wouldn't have gotten fucking paid for that last month. The next fucking one they sent me, a $300 fucking check. I went from 700 to 300 How the fuck did I go backwards so much when I was still promoting your products? Your company was getting bigger. More people were using my link. And you fucking cut the goddamn fee in fucking half and sent it to me after I had to fight for it. Up for the fucking the month leading up to it. No fucking thank you for your fucking help. No, thanks for helping us push our products. If you need anything in the future, fucking let us know. Maybe we can work something out in the fucking future. None of that shit. All they did was fucking cut me off, ignore me, and then try to fuck me over for my last check in the long run. And I told Boston, I said, you know what? If I was going to still use Melanotan, I would still use their product. I think it's fucking awesome. I think that, you know, their Arimidex, Letro, all that shit, fucking, all the stuff was top notch. But these guys are pretty fucked up. These guys are fucking... I don't, I don't, I've never seen anybody do business like that in my entire life and make shit up, but they were always good to Boston. Well, that was until now. And Boston actually has a video up now. I think it went up today, um, about what happened with them and they fucked him over the same way. And Rich Piana, Rich fucking Piana guys, right, babe, Rich Piana, that guy, God damn it. That motherfucker who told him, told Boston and told I back in the, told I, told me and Boston both, Jesus Christ, back in the day. You can't trust those guys unless they're telling you, unless they're showing you, you have like a code to get in to see the sales on their end of the computer. You don't know what they're fucking really making and they could be ripping you off fucking blind and you could be making them fucking $2 million a month and they're paying you fucking 300, you know? So, you know, right off the bat, they're not giving you access to that. That's not really trustable because they went to Rich Piana too. The Triad Transformers went to Rich Piana. He fucking turned them down. It was like, nope, sorry, no can do. Fucking don't trust you. I'm not going to do it. So that's the story about Transformix peptides. I have all the fucking emails, plain and simple, about what really happened in fucking Boston to back me up on it. So that's the shit. I mean, like I said, the products are great products for research. I will still stand by my word that they are great fucking products. I have seen no quality drop whatsoever in anybody that I know uses them. But as far as their business and ethics, it's fucked up. BioWestyTraining at gmail.com. Leave comments down below, but don't fight www.bicetrade.com is a blog. It's the fucked up bicep and we're out.